If you've ever tried paddling, you know that exploration is a big part of the fun, and it's often extra fun when you get to see something new or unusual. So here are a few examples of things that you can actually see in Stockholm County in Sweden. But uh, I'd also like to hear from you as to things that you have experienced on the water. So feel free to share your tips about different locations around the world in the comments. So one thing you can do in Stockholm is meet a moose. If you don't meet a real one, which I've done by the way, uh, you can hang out with this one. You can also paddle inside a shipwreck, if you will which is kind of an unusual experience. Or you can paddle around one, like this one, in Järfälla. You can also meet a crocodile. This one is closer to the city, but there's also one at Rögrön, further out in the archipelago. You can paddle indoors, under a roof. Just make sure to watch your head. But it's a fun experience. You can actually shift from lake water, fresh water, to seawater, the Baltic Sea, by going through the lock. If it's a warm day and you like to cool off a bit, you might actually go snorkeling after paddling to Björna. Or you might paddle for a bit longer and visit a Viking island at Birka. Paddle with cruise ferries, always be careful and keep your distance. Or you might get threatened by cannons at Vaxholm Fortress, for example. There are quite a few others. In December, if you're a winter paddler, you can enjoy Nobel Week flights in the company of up to a hundred kayaks. Paddle next to roller coasters at Yamalo and you swim park. You can have a free shower again if you wanted to cool off at Nakastan. And you can climb up uh, to a lighthouse if you wanted to get a better view in a few locations in the archipelago. And of course, you could also simply travel elsewhere, because Stockholm is the capital, with a lot of connections. So if you have a portable kayak, you can do what I do oftentimes, and take the train, or a plane, or a ferry, to one of the nearby countries, or wherever you want. So uh, wherever you are, I wish you happy paddles, happy exploration, and again, please do share your experience in the comments tips of places in different countries or locations where you have paddled or would like to paddle. I have a project actually called Paddling in 100 Cities and I'd love to get some extra locations on my bucket list. Alright, stay safe out there and happy paddling! <laughs>